Last, we'll show how to draw a mixed number on a number line. This time we're using lined paper to draw our number line. We have one and five, six, so we know we need at least two holes. Our first endpoint is zero. Our second endpoint is two. Down the middle is gonna represent one hole. Our denominator tells us that we have six equal parts in a hole. So for each side or for each hole, we're gonna partition it down the middle and then on each side of those halves, we're gonna create thirds. All together, we'll have six. So start by labeling the first hole all the way up to six, six. And then your second hole goes beyond one hole. And you're gonna label it using mixed numbers instead of fractions greater than one this time. And then count all the way to one and five, six. In our final example, we'll represent three and one half using a number line. Our first endpoint is zero. Because we have a number that's greater than three holes, our last endpoint needs to be four. Partition the number line in half and then partition each half in half. Those tick marks will actually represent whole numbers. So we have one hole, two holes, three holes, and then four. And then because our fraction shows halves, we're gonna partition each hole in half. Starting at zero, we'll count out each half. One half, one hole, one and one half, two holes, two and one half, three holes, and then three and one half is where we need to get to.